it seems like it's nice and sturdy now. There's good clearance on the bottom so the, the uh, rotor can rotate past the dust shield. I use two thin washers and a, an Allen um, bolt a little longer than the original bolt. The original bolt was real short and it wouldn't uh, be long enough for the two thin washers. And I held them in place with uh, masking tape with uh, duct tape. I held the washer in the spot while I um, took the other washer a nut about, about this long but an Allen nut because I couldn't get the wrench in that slot to tighten it down but uh, that looks like it's going to work. And I put the anti-seizing on the lug nuts and the rotor and on the, on the uh, Allen nut. When I put this control arm on, I didn't use an impact wrench or heat on that bottom bolt hit. It took, took me a couple weeks to drill that out and tap it. Um, I had to go buy the fork the uh, ball joint separator up at Harbor Freight for 10 bucks and have a friend bang the hell out of that to get this this uh, ball joint out but uh, that turned out good 100 bucks for the control arm and uh, 12 bucks for the new nuts and bolt it took me three weeks though Saved about a thousand bucks probably from the dealer.